Hi, I'm Mitchell Cole. I play Alec Benson in the film Anchor. Hi guys, my name is Pejarine Bruns, and today we are going to be breaking down a scene from our short film, Anchor. Hey! Hey, come on! Stop it! Put it out! So to bring you up to speed, Cam came to the party with Haley, played by Sierra Green, and she has disappeared, so he's gonna go try to find her. Little does he know she is being sexually assaulted by Alec in uh, a shed. So, like I said, he's going out to find her and this is where we pick up. Okay, I'm gonna pause that right there because uh, that, hesi that hesitation is kind of important to me. Um, the whole film, in my opinion, is kind of about Cam's character and his dilemma between right and wrong and, and his self-interest versus the interest of, of his, uh, really, Haley. Uh, so when he walks up and he looks in the shed, Haley is what I think is going to be his girlfriend eventually. I think both of them are kind of on the same page with they want to probably be in a relationship. And he sees that this, this thing's happening to her. She's, she's, you know, pinned against the wall by Alec, who is his swim team captain. And the swim team is doing very well. They're going to nationals. And so, so many thoughts are rushing through Cam's head at this point. He's he's t just absolutely caught off guard, surprised, confused. He doesn't know what to do. So that hesitation right there, I think, I'm glad. I don't know if that was just Sergio or Paige had him do that. But that right there is like critical to me. Because that kind of, right, that hesitation is the whole film, in my opinion. The biggest thing in post-production about this particular scene was the pause right here. So we had this debate going amongst my entire post team whether or not we should leave Sergio's pause at the door. Um, I was on the side that we should because in the script we had it because I saw it kind of as this moment of he hears something but he's not sure what's going on. He walks up to the door peeks inside and he sees something that he's not expecting in a million years to see. And so it's kind of like this moment of reflection of figuring out what did I just see? Is it what I think it is? And then when his brain can process, oh my gosh, it is, then he bolts in. But we needed that moment of him trying to figure it out and be like, oh my God, what is happening? Hey! Yeah. Get off her! Motherfucker! Okay, I'm gonna pause it. Great fight scene, by the way. I really like that. Um, when we were filming this, me and Sergio were on the same page. I'm like, hey, just just hit me, dude. Just hit me. Like, let's make it as real as it's got to be, because this got this got to sell the whole movie right here. You know, um, this is, you know, almost the climax of the film. And Sergio's like, hey, just hit me. So we're both like, hey, yeah, we're going, hey, we're just going to hit each other for real so we don't have to like fake it or nothing. And it all looks as real as it can. And Paige was like, absolutely not. You're not hitting each other. This is a stunt, not a fight. So Paige wouldn't let us hit each other. Thank you, Paige. And um, <laughs> this was one of my favorite scenes to shoot, I think, because I had never done stunt work before this. And I was so excited to do it. Um, and I think we spent maybe 10 minutes in total going over blocking and stunt work, like the uh, precautions for working on stunts and like how to move so you don't get hit in the face. And everybody seemed to get it, but I was still nervous. I was like, oh no, someone's gonna move the wrong way and they're gonna get a punch in the face. And then luckily that did not happen. So we were in good shape with that. Okay, I, I, I think, I can't remember if he was Devin or, or Tommy. I want to say he was Tommy. Noah Rodriguez, best actor I've ever met. Best actor I've ever met. He killed it in this part. And I think this was his first film. He, he does theater. Just, the, his acting was incredible in this part. He killed it, man. Good job, Noah. I also want to take a minute to talk about Noah because I feel like he didn't have a lot of lines in this film, but what he did have was so spot on and like just great acting that you don't ever really think about it. Like, you don't sit there and go, oh my God, that's incredible. Oh my gosh. 
because it's so good that it's so natural that it just feels normal. Put it out! What the hell is wrong with you? Nothing. He saw me and Haley in the shed and he freaked out. You're gonna fucking pay for this. No, one of you tell me what the hell is going on? You fucking raped her, Alec. <laughs> right? We were just having fun. That line, Mitchell's line of we were just having fun, he gets this like twinkle in his eye where it looks just like pure evil. And I kid you not, after editing this scene, the next time I saw him, I was like, for 0.2 seconds, I was like, mm. And then, like, obviously, it's Mitchell, it's not Alec, and he is genuinely, I mean, I say this all the time, but I feel like I have to, <laughs> given the nature of the character. He's not like Alec at all. He's like one of the most genuine people you're ever gonna meet. But for like 0.2 seconds, I was like, oh my gosh, because I had been editing this over and over again, and I had seen it so many times, and it's so believable. We were just having fun. Look, I don't know what you think you saw. If this gets out, it's over. You, me, Devin, Tommy, nobody goes to nationals. Walk away, Alec. You better keep your mouth shut. And you better make sure your friend keeps her fucking mouth shut too. Okay, that line right there where your, your friend better keep make sure she keeps her mouth shut, that was actually uh, uh, in the audition uh, for the role. Uh, it was an online audi audition on Skype. Uh, Paige and Parker had me read with uh, Sergio and do an improv scene. And we were kind of just like uh, improv and what happens after the assault. And that was actually a line I, just off the top of my head as Alec said, and that actually made its way into the scripts. That's really cool. You better keep your mouth shut. You better make sure your friend keeps her fucking mouth shut too. I love exterior night scenes. I think that they look so pretty, but they're also a curse to shoot because lighting takes forever. Um, and with this particular scene, we had to light everything at once. So usually how it would work is you would light per section. So like per shot is a better way to say that. Um, so like if you had to close up, you'd shoot, you'd shoot that, but you'd light just for this. Versus, you know, the wide shot you'd, you'd like just for the wide and then re-set up for every other shot. But we did not have time to do that. So we had to light everything at once and then just punch in. So it took us about an hour and a half to light. And we had to recreate moonlight. And it was like, there were no lights out there. So it was like pitch black. Cam, he's been drinking. He isn't thinking. Yeah, straight. and that makes it okay. No, but if that gets out, we're not going to national. I know. Go help your friend. God, such a good actor. By the way, his name was Devin. I got that from the uh, the dialogue between the characters. Sorry, Devin. But his name's Noah Rodriguez, fantastic actor. So yeah, that that was my favorite scene to film, I think, from the entire film. Uh, really intense. And, and we were actually really intense on set, so um, I think it uh, ended up translating the screen quite well. <laughs> so that's it. I hope that you enjoyed watching and hearing a little bit about the behind the scenes and how we shot the film.